Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. This episode's topic is Pixel Shader. Let's get right to it. We will use this Global's Helper class for easier access to content, sprite batch, and elapsed game time. And the Game Manager will bind everything else together. OK, let's start coding. First we create a simple sprite class. It has a texture set by the constructor. And a draw method with a position as a parameter. Let's do a quick check using the Game Manager. We create an instance of the sprite, prepare a position and draw it. That will be our reference image. To create a new shader, we move to the content editor. Press the new item button. Select the sprite effect type and fill in a name. That creates a new file in the content. Let's take a look. The shaders use their own language. But we will focus only on a few basics now. The pixel shader goes through every individual pixel of the texture and runs functions to modify them. The sampler extracts single pixel data from the texture. The main function computes the final pixel color. Let's create our first example. We start by getting the current pixel information. It is important to note that the texture coordinates are in the range of 0 to 1, not the actual pixel count. Then we assign every color channel an average value of the 3. That will transform the color to grayscale. And finally, return the new color. Let's head back to the game manager to test the shader. We add a second position and an effect type variable. Load the effect. To use the shader, we pass the effect as a parameter when beginning a new sprite batch. We draw the same texture again and end the batch. Let's see the results. Perfect. The second example starts the same. But we will change the alpha channel this time. We base the change on the y-axis position. Note that the values clamp to the 0 to 1 range by default. Let's do another test. We made this fade out effect. Good. Let's try something a little more complex. We want to pixelate the texture. Pixels are the total pixel count on one axis. Pixelation is the target cell size. First, we calculate the current position in pixels. Then round it to the nearest cell. Get the new coordinates back in the 0 to 1 range. And return that pixel. A quick check that it works. Great. And as the last example, we will do a teleport effect. We will need an external parameter, the amount of texture affected. If the vertical position is less than the amount, hide the pixel. If the current pixel is visible and in a narrow space around the amount, saturate the blue channel and average the others. Then return the color. To pass the amount parameter into the shader, we prepare two variables in the game manager. Inside the update method, the amount changes with time. It oscillates between 0 and 1. We set the current value as the effect parameter. Call the draw, and that's it. Let's take a look. Perfect. Let me know how you like this episode. You can find the code in the description. Have a topic you would like to see next? Please, share it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.